OK, so congruent triangles. Um, now, we've already gone over you know, some proofs a lot with dealing with angle, side angle, and so forth. Um, that's what we spent a lot of time with. But now I just want to make sure we go back through again and, and really describing what exactly are we describing when we're saying congruent triangles. So congru are congruent polygons. Congruent polygons are congruent if and only if congruent parts are congruent. Or corresponding parts, not congruent parts. That doesn't make sense. Corresponding parts are congruent, not congruent parts are congruent. That's a little odd. So let's go and think about what are going to be your congruent parts or your corresponding parts. All right. So here's two triangles. All right. Now let's go ahead and label these two triangles. Let's go uh, L, M, N and uh, x, y, z. All right? So here's two triangles. And you guys might want to make uh, you know, some observations saying, oh, well, this triangle or this angle is equal to this angle. This side is equal to this side. But just like what we talked about with parallel lines and right, right angles, do not assume things are equal in measure unless you know they are equal in measure. And how do we represent that side lengths are going to be equal in measure? We use that nice little little tick marking system, right? So I can say that LM is equal to XY. All right? Over here, I could say that this point LM is going to be equal, um, let's call this, to YZ. I'll do it that way. Then we could say these three sides, all right? Now the other thing, so now these corresponding parts, when we're talking about corresponding parts, let's go through the angles real quick too. So I'm going to say that L is congruent to Y, M is congruent to Z, and X is congruent to N. So when we're talking about corresponding parts, what we're talking about is the angles are equal to the angle, and the side lengths are equal to the side lengths. All right. So for us to be able to show, or for us to be able to know that triangles are course, uh, that are congruent, um, or poly polygons are congruent, their corresponding parts have to be equal in measure. Therefore, all my angles have to be equal in measure. Meaning, angle M is congruent to angle Z. Angle L is congruent to angle Y, and angle N is congruent to angle X. So you guys can see right there that my angles are all, my corresponding angles are congruent, correct? But you just because it has, the definition doesn't say just angles have to be congruent, it says all corresponding parts, meaning all the angles and all the sides. So when I go and look at now the sides, we have to make sure that MN, <clears throat> side MM, which is line segment, is congruent to side, uh, let's see, ZY. Now, let me ask a question to Kevin. Kevin, why is this congruent to ZY, but it's not congruent to YZ? Or why would YZ not be a valid statement? It's the same side. YZ or, or ZY, it's the same side, but why would I write it, why would I have to write it as Z, ZY instead of YZ? Any idea? Does anybody have any idea they want to raise their hand and see? Nobody has any idea. So Jake, this would be a really important thing for you to, um, to internalize. MN is congruent to YZ. The reason being is because M is congruent to Z. And n is congruent to y, right? So if I were to switch those, then I would say that m is congruent to y. But we know that's not the case, right? So when you're labeling your sides, make sure you label them in the same order. If I go from m to n, I have to go from z to y because m is congruent to z and n is congruent to y. Or that's not right, as what I wrote up there. Um, mn, oh, is going to zx. Sorry about that. 
No wonder. And it's congruent to x. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. Mn goes to zx. There you go. OK. So now let's go and look at the other lines. We could have um, mn, and then you could also do ml. ml is now going to be congruent to zy. And our last one, ml, mn, would be ln, is going to be congruent to yx. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you can rewrite those the other way. I could also write this as nl is congruent to xy. As long as I am going in the same direction, as long as I have my corresponding angles um, is in the same direction. So I could do ln to yx, or I could do uh, nl to xy. All right? But as long as you have corresponding angles um, in that statement, then you're going to be all right. OK? Cool. Got it, Dominic? Good.